This evening we are getting a new perspective of the shooting death of Antoine Rose II. This video was captured by a driver nearby and was presented in court today. We're going to show it to you. And there was also more testimony from witnesses who said, one of them who said that he heard former officer Michael Rosfeld say after he shot Rose. What that witness said made many people inside the courtroom gasp. KDK investigator Andy Sheehan has been covering this trial. He joins us live now with the latest inside the courthouse. Andy? Stacy, was Michael Rosfeld in danger when he shot a fleeing Antoine Rose? The prosecution in this case says no, and they presented witnesses today to bolster that case. The prosecution maintains that Michael Rosfeld was not in danger and was not justified in shooting a fleeing Antoine Rose. Today, they presented a key witness who quoted Rosfeld in the aftermath of the shooting, questioning his own actions. John Leach said he saw Rosfeld crying and hyperventilating, saying, Why did I shoot? Why did I fire? Leach also bolstered the prosecution's case that Rose was unarmed and not a threat. Testifying, he saw Rose before the shooting standing at the car, raising an empty hand. Quote, he put his right hand up close to his face. I thought he was putting his hands up. He looked in both directions and then took off running. Rosfeld's defense attorney, Patrick Tomasi, immediately tried to undermine the testimony, saying that this view from Leach's porch was obstructed by this tree and that Leach gave a different version when he was interviewed by police. You didn't say he put his hands up, Tomasi said. You said he made a motion with his hand. When the defense presents its case, it will say that Rosfeld believed that Rose was armed and a threat. Another witness, community organizer Patrick Shattuck, testified that after the shooting, a distraught Rosfeld indicated as much. Shattuck says Rosfeld sat despondent in the community center after the shooting, saying, why did he do it? Why did he do it? Why did he take that out of his pocket? The prosecution presented exhibits that Rose's gun was stowed under his seat and that Rose was not armed when he was shot. Police, however, recovered an empty ammunition magazine from Rose's pocket and the defense plans to say that Rosfeld thought it was a gun. County Housing Authority Police Officer Charles Razo said when he put Rosfeld in the police cruiser after the shooting, Rosfeld asked him, did you see the gun? Now, there are some signs that the prosecution's case may be winding down, and then the defense will be presenting, uh, presenting uh, witnesses of their own. We, of course, will be here throughout for now live at the Allegheny County Courthouse. Andy Sheehan, KDKA-TV News.